Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial on OTS Max series. This is basically part three of bedroom modeling. Yeah, I'm late, but late is better than never. Okay, so let's get start. Before we start this video, and I what I tell you what we are learning this video. So before that, I want to tell you something. I have a new channel. This is called My Technical Support. Okay. This is basically tech channel. It's based on simply tech things, and it's in Hindi. So, if you would like to, if you like to subscribe this channel, please come here and subscribe and give the, your lovely support to my channel. Okay. So basically, this is the shout out shout out to my second channel. The links will be in the description. You can go through it. So now we are back to our tutorial. This is part three, and let's get start. So first of all, what we are doing in this tutorial, we are doing uh, in previous tutorial, we are what going to do? We are going to do uh, create some basic wall, flooring, and rooftop. Create lighting and rendering set. Set up the rendering setup, and what uh, basically we complete the basic things. And I, I can show you the render of previous tutorial and so it's look like this. It's a very basic uh, rendering. Okay, so it's totally finished here. Now what we are going to do? We are actually going to the material, to this uh, wall, flooring, and rooftop. Basically, it's a short tutorial, but very useful because. The material thing is all thing in the rendering thing. Okay, so in materials now I'm going to stop this here and simply what we are going to do we are simply going to press M or you can go here to material library. We are just create a only V-Ray materials because it's safe. So. First, we are going to select uh, materials. We create two wall materials for the, okay because one for three dimension and one for back side of the bed, which is uh, basically this one. Okay, so first of all, go to material, select a material, give it a name to wall. Material one, okay, and change the standard to V-Ray material. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to do give it the color of light yellow, like creamy yellow, or here we are going to give a uh, something. Uh, dark blue type color grayish blue type or so first we create this one material so go to diffuse and select the color of your white but not this because it is quite brighter in the rendering so we are going to decrease the value by 245 245 each okay so this is not a pure white but it's a white okay so give it okay now what we are going to do uh, when we apply select this and apply this material to this wall what it's going to show like uh, I'll go to prospective viewport and I'm going to show you okay so now select the rooftop and we are going to hide that so guys if you see here whole walls are look like white wall but 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 we are going to create this two wall this one and this one is going to bluish gray but before that what we are going to do we are select that wall material which we are creating this tutorial and go to maps 
in maps we are going to give a bumpiness to this material okay why we are going to give this bump because if you see here uh, and when you would enter it it looks like a plastic thing it's a plastic but we are not going to create a plastic material we are going to wall material so we are going to bump and We are going to create a noise thing here okay so click on noise and click ok now you can see here the thing is if uh, it show like different than a plastic and it's reflect the light in different ways so it's look like a wall and you if you see the wall very closely it look like this some sometime something look like this so okay now we are going to copy that material but we are going to rename this by clicking on two and close this one and now what we are going to do we are going to color chain so we are going to click on diffuse select this blue one and grayish blue and create no, opacity color of gray higher the value and create a dark blue thing okay so we going to click on this now what we are going to do we are going to do simply click this whole wall section and before that we hide the Okay. So we only just need. okay. We are going to select this one and select the uh, hide unselected. Okay. So the wall is only seen by us. So what we are going to do? We are simply select the wall, go to polygons, go to top view, select. This two middle walls, okay. But if you see here, it's not uh, perfectly because it's uh, some polygons are selected also here. So we are deselect by pressing Alter and click on it. So it's okay. Now you can see only two walls are. selected now you can see the difference this two walls are white and these two walls are blue now what we are going to do we are on select or uh, we are on hide all so you can see here now again we are hide the roof okay now what we are going to do we are select the flooring Right click and go to hide unselected. Now you can see only the floor thing. So what we are going to do, we are create a material for this floor. So again go into material, go to here, rename it by floor and go to standard to pre material. Okay. Now what we are going to do? We are simply click here and go to bitmap. In the bitmap, I have these images which I give the link to download it. It is in the description. Links are all 
all links which I mentioned in this tutorial or any tutorial which they are on the description area so go and check it out and download it simply so select this image and open it select ok ok now you are seeing here this is the R image and what we are going to do simply back to the floor material and now we are going to maps in maps we have from here so again go to bitmap and select this one not this one but this one because we need map ok so we are going to use this map and now again back to floor you can see here uh, this is not reflective material and this is not reflect so somehow we are going to give some glossiness or reflection before that reflection the reflection we turn on this now you can see the reflection it's too much we are decrease the value then What we are going to do, we are going to use some glossiness. It's uh, at point five, it look like a matte finish, but somehow we are going to be right. okay. Now it looks like glowing material. So what we are going to do, we are going to again. Sorry, we are not going to do roughness. We change things because we use We are going to come. Okay, now looks like this. Now you can see the real depth of this wooden pieces between this wooden pieces. As you can, you didn't see the clear image or difference between these two, distance between these two. So we are going to talk. So we, yeah, this look like drawing material, but I didn't it. We just change some. So 
search for So basically we end this tutorial here and uh, we are going to give the material of whole thing in this tutorial we simply okay okay i forgot one thing simply we have forgot about the top material which is the rooftop material so it is of basically white material so we are simply put it now go to camera port Try the render. Let's see what is happening and what it looks like. So, I think it's completely good because it's so nice. Okay, the bump was too high. It's shown here, so we are going to decrease that one by putting the material. and bumps we have decreased it by 10 or here also we are going to decrease it by 10 render again let's see what happened and now it's fixed no problem is we are going to problem any, any problem face in this Okay, it's look quite nice. So, we close this one. Okay, this is looks nice. So, guys, we end up this tutorial here. Uh, in next tutorial, what we are going to do? We are going to create this windows. Okay, windows and doors and curtain thing. But uh, I already created a tutorial on that, so you can watch directly by going there. And please open the playlist of this and see the all videos by seeing the. Uh, I mean, you can see the all the playlist because uh, if you see the video like I upload, so it you will miss something. Okay. So please open this in the playlist. So what we are going to do? We end this tutorial here and hope you like this video. If you find this helpful to you, please like thumbs up and click the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you in the next tutorial and the window making tutorial and curtain making tutorial which I do not upload a second time because I already have done it. So open, go to playlist and check it out. Uh, the link will be in the description, so you can easily check. So see you in the next tutorial. Bye.